I know what you're thinking. Buick Regal GS, performance car, German built, that's a great heritage. This thing ought to be great. But think again, don't judge a book by its cover. Buick is a brand rich in heritage on American roads, but unfortunately in the last couple of decades, they haven't done so well. Where they have done well is in China of all places. They're trying to get their image back and they're hoping vehicles like this Regal GS are gonna get them there. This is essentially an Opel, which is one of General Motors uh, brands. It's a German built car. It's, it's a fine car. It has 270 horsepower from a two liter twin scroll turbo. That's pretty good. That's 135 horsepower per liter. It's one of the highest in the industry. Sounds good so far. It's got these nice big 20 inch wheels. Pretty good. It's got a nice overall shape. Where I struggle with this car is price. Somewhere between $38,000 and $40,000 is what you're gonna pay for a Regal GS. Now, I like General Motors products, and right in their own backyard, they have the new Cadillac ATS, which also has a two liter turbo, but it's rear wheel driven, and it's got a better structure, and it's priced right around the same as this Regal GS. So, my, my question to you is, can you really defend buying this car? I don't know, I can't, maybe you can. In addition to the 20 inch unique GS wheels, Regal GS also adds 20 inch ZR rated 35 aspect ratio sport performance tires, drilled aluminum pedals. As you can see, you can get a six speed manual or a six speed automatic, a unique GS steering wheel. So they've done a lot to distinguish this from the regular Regal. However, it just doesn't seem to add up with the front wheel drive and in my opinion, the lack of low end torque. From a company that gave you Cadillac's Q, which is a very simple infotainment system. What we have here with the Regal GS is very complicated. Over 45 buttons that we've counted, not to mention the touch screen. Uh, this is a very uh, opal uh, German design that a lot of Americans uh, find very confusing in everyday driving. Even the, the power door locks, as you can see, they're right in the center of the IP, as opposed to on the door, which is where you find most American cars, door locks. Buick claims that the Regal GS goes from zero to 60 in six and a half seconds. It's been a challenge to match that. It also claims it has 295 pound-feet of torque at 2,400 RPMs. Now, once you get going, you know, the GS is a pretty good car, but it's not an off-the-line vehicle that uh, you're gonna win a lot, of, uh, a lot of street races with. The handling is pretty good. Again, once you get going, if you're accelerating as you're taking off, it's very choppy. Uh, I wish, uh, wish Buick would fix that. Again, I always look at what else is out there, and I just came back from the 2013 Detroit Auto Show where they showed the Mercedes-Benz CLA at $30,000 and the BMW 320i at $32,500. These are two potentially world-class vehicles. The 3 Series already is. The CLA probably will be. It'll cost a lot less than the what I'm driving here today. So even the Passat CC, I think, is a better value. So I could come up with many arguments why this is not a vehicle I would own, but if you can defend it, if you can validate your purchase, you got my blessing.